Right, welcome back to Dusty Desert. Hopefully we can get through without dying 10 billion times this time. We get to uh, drive through more phallic symbols. Hooray! Two rising up at once. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Just the way Rouge likes it. Oh, you're quite the one with those type of references, aren't you? One day I'm, I'm going to write that fan fiction. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Shadow, come to bed. <laughs> Half the people here won't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but for those who do, it'll be all the more funny. Mm -hmm. Well, I told you, the, I'm going to do a dramatic reading of it, I swear to God. <laughs> the the kind of, the, the shape of the thingy he's flying, to me, kind of looks like an, an upside-down Starship Enterprise. Yes. Just to me, this is because, of course, did that big oval at, at the front of it. You so Sad. crazy. To go where no one has gone before. Sand. Or to a good Sonic game. Yes. <laughs> where no one's gone since SA2. Oh, or Rush. Snap. Or Rush, if you include spin-offs. <laughs> Not so much Rush Adventure. I liked it. It wasn't as good as Rush, though. The hell was that? <laughs> I fell through the level. Jesus Christ. Classic glitch-tastic stuff. Mm. Yeah, because like, a lot of people complain that... He hasn't had a good game in a long time, but to me, that's that's really only the main series. He's had plenty of good spin-offs in, in the meantime, like Advance 3, Rush. Rush Adventure's good, not amazing. I mean, Secret Rings, you know, some people love it. I personally think it's it's average. Mm. It's good, but I don't think Secret Rings is, is amazing, to be honest. It's one of my favourite 3D games, to be honest. What, Secret Rings? Mm -hmm. I like I liked it, I just, I just wish it, it controlled a bit better, that's all. Oh yeah, I can sympathise with you on the controls and whatnot. Yeah. Mm. I, th I think we said this last time, but the music's really quite bland in this level. Mm. Mm. It's very calming though. Yeah. Which helps when you get a big clusterfuck of a level like this. I love that word, clusterfuck. <laughs> it makes it sound like crunchy nut clusters. My favourite variation of that is, if, if you ever want to describe being in the middle of nowhere, you say, I'm in Bumblefuck. <laughs> Bumblefuck. It's like, where are you? I'm doing the Bumblefuck, mate. It's great. Oh, God. Can you tell there's not a lot to talk about? Mm? Exactly. He's like, oh, a statue fell down. Hooray. You missed a life, you fool. Come back and get it. Oh, you are. No. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> How come the bullets did nothing but ramming into it did? Oh, don't don't try and justify things in this game, it's just make you make you want to kill yourself. Hmm, yes. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we please actually enter the proper level? We're not even inside Dusty Desert yet. Well, 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 well this isn't the proper level. No, the level starts now. It begins now. <laughs> it begins. Find the Chaos Emerald. Ugh. Isn't it like ironic that like when in SA1 all the KS symbols are within like five miles of that town, in SA2 they're all within like five miles of that town. <laughs> yeah. And in this they're all within like five miles of like bloody Soliana. Mm. You know what? Another thing I just realised. What's that? You know, in our in our um, many mistakes video, we talked about how, how crap it was. Mm. I just realized something in you know how in uh, we talk about in, in the menu it says um Sonic goes rushing towards Soliana to stop Eggman. Yeah. If if when they blow out Solaris's flame he never existed, hence there's no Solaris project, hence Eggman wouldn't have been going towards the town of Soliana in the first place, hence why is Sonic there at the end? Oh, I think it's to give some very vague hint that he remembers what happened. Yeah, although, to, to be fair, I'm not knocking that last scene, because I actually really like the very last scene. It's, it's, it's mm. But when I watch that last scene, it actually makes me think of Disney for some reason. Well, it is it's, very Disney-esque, the game storyline. Yeah, but you know, I, I really do do love the last scene, but yeah, it's just always struck me slightly odd. Mm. One thing I do hate, these sand waves. Uh, sand in um, Sonic games, of course, most people will probably remember Sandopolis from Sonic and Knuckles, one of the biggest bitch levels there is. Mm, especially Act 2. Oh, don't get me started. It's like, it's like Sandopolis Zone, Act 2, Labyrinth Zone, Act 3, and Casino Nopolis, and Casinoopolis Act... 
no, sorry, Carnival, Carnival Park Zone from Sonic 3 Act 2 of all dro dro driven people to insanity. Can I ask why there was the random crotch shot of Omega back there? Because Omega's built like a brick shit house. Mm, and he's hung like, like an elf. <laughs> and he's dressed like a Roman centurion. <laughs> but yeah, like, I, I actually still have nightmares about Labyrinth Zone Act 3. Oh shit, 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 shit. Thank you. <laughs> they, they kind of um, get across platforms and other things. Kind of reminds me of um, Spow the Dragon, when you have to fight oh. Nasty Nor. I love that game. I haven't played that. Mm. I love it. When you fight Nasty Nor, when you have to chase him, man, I know the, the flat, the flat, the little of that, platforms keep coming in and out. Oh yeah, he was a bitch. I'm like, get back here, you fucker. <laughs> I haven't played any of the revamps, but I've heard it isn't that good. I've played 1, 2, and 3 and 100% of them all. Nice. Have you played any of the, the, the reboot starring Elijah Wood as um, Sparrow? Um, no, I've played the one that comes directly after the third, the trilogy. Oh, we the one on the PS2? I forget what it's called, it's just a picture of Spyro's face on the box. Yeah, it's meant to be quite crap. <laughs> well, the frame rate's pretty meh. <laughs> Fair enough about Spyro, back to Sonic. Well, there's not a lot to say. I'm sure that just hit me. Yeah. Do you think, like, so, some franchises like, um, Tomb Raider, um, Spiral the Drug, in, in like, the last year or so, actually had proper reboots if they st when they started from fresh? Do you, do you think, Tom, that maybe the Sonic franchise could, could use one of those? Like, a, like forget, forget all these claims about bringing him back to his roots, just actually properly start from scratch? Well, I think that's what Unleashed is doing. I don't, I don't think it, it's classed as a reboot because they're all using the pre-existing characters and, and they're keeping the pre-existing stories as like relevance. But would, do you think it would benefit from actually forgetting everything and just completely starting from scratch? Well, to be fair, and with no disrespect to Tomb Raider or Spyro fans, I don't think people would buy those games for the story. I think Tomb Raider they may do. I don't, I'm not sure because I haven't, I haven't played a Tomb Raider game in literally 10 years. Mm. Although, to be fair, Tom, how many people actually buy a Sonic game for the story? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I, no, I, I, I felt cheated. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just going to buy because I'm a Sonic fan, really. Yeah. Although, I think I have, um, I remember someone at El oh. It was an initially saying Sonic Team have actually said to disregard everything after SA2. What, so story-wise? Actually... Story-wise, yeah. Hmm. Well, of, well, of course, SA. Well, the way I think about it is that you know, heroes basically had no story anyway, so you don't lose anything from getting rid of that. Hmm. SA um, 06, this game it erases itself anyway, so again, you're not losing anything. And frankly, I'm happy to forget the whole Shadow is actually an, an alien. So hmm. You just think of it as one of those what if stories. Yeah. You watched it, you can't unwatch it. You watched it, you can't unwatch it. Tales of, of interest. Interest. <laughs> Always that little pause right there. <laughs> that, that, that's what um, the Bruce Lamar does in the um, commentary of that episode. <laughs> it pauses for like 10 seconds. Yeah, interest. We're, <laughs> we're a couple of freaks. We watched the commentary on the Futurama box. Oh yeah, like I knew, I knew Tom was someone I could speak to for life when I quoted something that Biddy West says in one of the Futurama commentaries, and he knew exactly what I was <laughs> what I was referring to. They're just as entertaining as the actual episodes, and in some cases, even more entertaining than the, than the episodes, like the Free one about the baseball yeah. episode. Yeah. Like what? You know the baseball episode? That was god awful. Oh yeah, that I'd say that one, that's Lobster Tainment and the Freedom Day episodes are easily the three worst episodes of the entire series. Mm. Look, 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 he actually maneuvers better than Shadow does, look at him. And Sonic. <laughs> and he actually he has, he has more moves as well, so <laughs> Jesus. I think Omega deserves his own spin-off. Every character should have their own spin-off instead of being playable in the Sonic game. There, I said it. <laughs> Except Cream. She should just die. In fact, let's go through the characters in the list and decide what type, what genre of spin-off they should be in. Okay. Okay. Knuckles, definitely get a beat-em-up spin-off. Tails could be um, a puzzle platformer. Maybe. Puzzle w with slight hints of um, platforming, because I think he really would well. Or, or, air combat, air oh, simulation. Oh yeah, that could work. 
Mm. Amy? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. What, what can Amy... I think Amy probably... Put all of her levels normally around stealth, so maybe a stealth kind type game. Like, Metal Gear Amy. What about a comedy style game? That might work. Yeah, that's what that... Yeah. I, I could actually see Amy in a Kirby-like game, I must say. Mm, yeah. Where you get upgrades for your hammer and whatnot. Yeah, that'd be pretty sweet. Actually, just make it a Ratchet and Clank clone, sword. <laughs> what about Shadow? What what type of game? Maybe maybe a game with guns and swearing. No, I mean, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> Indeed. Anyway, join us in part 16 for the last of Dusty Desert and the last Mephilus fight. See you then. Bye.